Hi there, my name is Mayuresh and today I want to quickly give you a tour of Chronicle. I want to show you some of the key features, how the product works and how you can get started with your first Chronicle in no time. So let's jump in. This is what a typical Chronicle looks like. You have your chapters organized one below the other so you can quickly scroll to navigate. Chronicle is a new approach to storytelling and presentation. Our philosophy is that it is not about what you can do, but more about what you don't need to, to end up with stunning outputs. And so really the goal here is for you to end up with really amazing top 1% outputs and presentations without having to do any of the design guesswork. Here's how it works. Chronicle is made of these widgets. So anything you put on Chronicle is made of widgets. You can insert widgets straight from this menu. Uh, for example, I can insert a small icon card just like that by dragging it. These widgets, you can place them anywhere. This is a pretty smart, easy canvas. Uh, you can also snap to other widgets, so you can quickly create layouts um, just like that. You can resize and reposition widgets quite easily to create any layouts, but even better, you can just go from this layout to any other layout in one click with what we call Remix. So just click Remix here, choose the layout that you want. Let's say I want this one and just click that button and in one click, Chronicle will take you from just a few words to a beautiful visual created for you. Chronicle will write the content such that it fits this perfectly. You can further edit this the way you want uh, or just leave it in there. Um, that's in a nutshell how Chronicle works. You can create really good looking outputs in no time with Chronicle. One other feature that I want to show you today is how links and embeds work. So let's say you have this link that you have from the internet. You can just paste it um, in one click here in Chronicle uh, and it will turn into this embed. You can then customize this embed as much or as little as you want. You can resize it. Uh, you can even add a background color uh, if you need to. The best part is you can open this embed in what we call a peak mode to jump straight into that link and start using it or viewing it and interacting with it. So you can just jump in and start viewing this thing, uh, which is quite sick. You can also turn this into an interactive embed here itself. So with this, you can paste interactive visuals, charts, graphs, um, even embeds from other tools straight into Chronicle. Uh, it's just as easy as pasting a link straight in here. Um, the one thing I'll show you before getting started with your first Chronicle uh, is the present mode. So simply hit command enter or on the top right here, you can hit this present button and you'll go into the present mode. Your cursor will change to this little interactive bubble. Um, one little trick here, a subtle trick that we've baked into the product is if you hold down command or control on Windows, you will activate what we call a deep hover mode. So everything will dim out, but what you hover on will sort of start shining. This way you can really drive or guide attention of your audience to a few things. You can also click on anything to open it in peak mode or cycle through things uh, quickly and easily. Each widget is designed to be interactive um, and everything here is really designed for you to guide your audience's attention meaningfully. So that's how uh, Chronicle works. Let me quickly show you how you can get started with your first Chronicle. So the sidebar is where all of your Chronicles are neatly tucked away. Uh, you can just hit this plus button to create a new Chronicle. When you hit the plus button, you will see this start page for creating a new document. Uh, let's start with the pasted text flow. So you can just start with any amount of raw thoughts or text. Think of this as your notepad, or you can even use this as a prompt. So let's say um, I want to write a case study um, about the works of uh, Galileo and contributions to mathematics. I don't. But let's say I want to write this as a research report. I can also pick the number of chapters that I want here. Let's say I want five chapters. Um, I can do either a subtle rewrite, which will retain most of your content, uh, a creative rewrite, which will fill in the gaps by looking up or, uh, or it will preserve text uh, completely. So I'll do a creative rewrite here. You can set the language. And then when you hit continue, Chronicle will start organizing this information, uh, filling it up with pieces of information from the internet um, and start really pulling together a rich structured narrative that has a lot of information and a good flow. So here we go. Here are the five chapters that Chronicle has written out for us. Uh, you can now review these chapters here. You can reorder them, change the flow, or even add a chapter on your own here uh, simply by typing it. Um, I'll just quickly delete that. As you will see here, Chronicle has also assigned layouts for these chapters. So similar to what we did with Remix, you can set a layout at this point itself. Let's say for the first page, I want a two-column description. Um, I might want something more visual here for other pages, so I can choose anything else. Um, and then simply hit Generate Presentation, and Chronicle will start pulling together this presentation for you. So you'll have a really amazing first cut ready to go without having to put in any effort at this point. You can still jump in and edit this presentation as much or as little as you want um, and with all the freedom and powers of, of all the tools that I showed you. Um, so in many ways, Chronicle combines a really quick and powerful way to get started with 
a thoughtful, simple approach to edit and customize your outputs. Uh, so you can end with stunning outputs effortlessly. Um, that's Chronicle in a nutshell. I hope you uh, hope you like it. Please share your feedback. We have tons of other layouts coming into the Remix menu very soon, and we are also building new widgets constantly. Uh, please do share what you would like to see here uh, so that it's most useful to you. Um, thank you so much. 